hi, I'm opening a pin. I've designed a convention mascot. This is Miko, and Miko is the icon and mascot for the UK event. Megacon. Megacon is a movies, comics, anime convention that happens several times a year in various locations. Tom is one of the directors for the event and I am one of the artists for the event. I have designed Miko and today I'm combining video work with this work that I'm doing. When Megacon first came around and needed a mascot and I was volunteered for the job, I designed the character and then I did a few basic concepts of how Mika can be used. And they've been using the same images this whole time. However, with the convention growing, it needs more design work. <laughs> so my job for today is to do a few different emojis, a few different styles of Miko, some mock-ups, and possibly some integrations of Miko cosplaying because that would be fun. Just to give some fun imagery for the convention itself because the convention does involve cosplay, which is great. Here are the details on the next Megacon, which I will be at. I'm also debating doing a pop-up gallery show there, so you might be able to see my paintings that have been in storage for the first time in four years. Cool, but basically we'll be doing some artwork today around Nico, which would be awesome. Earlier today, I made this pixel Nico. It's cute. <laughs> Hi, Nico. I wanted to make some emojis that Megacon could use for social media. I did a couple of variations of expressions just to get an idea of what to do. Side smile, little tongue smile, but there's lots of different smiles that we can add to the face. You can also do something like this with the eyes, the I'm not impressed expression. Angle them, now you're mad. Angle them again, make it bigger, add points, now you're really mad. Or you can do like that, little points like, oh no, what's happened? And that one's a bit like Totoro. For this, I will have the same shape head of Miko. So I took my digital mock-up of the work, printed out a bunch of them together, and sketched out some expressions on them that I'd like Miko to make. And then in Illustrator, I was able to make these digital designs. And now we have Miko emoticons. This would be a scribble phase. Artwork is a process. <laughs> You've got the idea phase, the initial mock-up phase, the phase where you doubt yourself, so you do the sketches again and again and again, and then you're going on to the final concept. So if it's a traditional piece, you're going onto your canvas now, or your watercolor sheet or something. And if you're a digital artist, you're pulling it into the program and you are working it in there. Just to go over the basic shape of Miko, Miko has a circle body with a little bit of a box at the bottom. One ear is an M and the other one is a C shape. And Miko's feet are quite big. I made Miko simple on purpose because I wanted Miko to be an easy character to remember. Colors of Miko are based on the convention. And if you've not caught on the very cleverness of the name here, Mega Con Miko. He <laughs> goes along with the name. The event has a star in the logo, Miko has a star on the end of the tail. All really, really simple. It's not very imaginative, and I can say that because it's my design. But that was also intentional. Simple is good, and when it comes to logos and mascots, it can be very helpful. This is a very rough sketch, and I'm gonna go over it with a marker just to kind of pinpoint how I would like this design to go eventually. So the concept of this one is plant pot. Cute. So here we have a concept drawing of Nico in a flower pot. Here are some more mock-ups I made. I'll present these to the team, as well as some new merchandise concepts. This is one of the Miko pins so far. Ah, oh, I forgot this is my Disney sketchbook where I did the Disney eyes. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, there's Pinocchio. Oh, there's a Mickey. At the convention, it's my understanding that there's going to be more Miko merch, which is cool. I'm excited to see how it turns out because I'm not part of that design process. Just I do the initial mock-ups, so I just get to do the mock-ups and then come to the show and I'm like, whoa, cool. You guys did cool stuff with that. <laughs> For this one, I did a stylized imagining of what if there was more than one Miko. And for a notepad concept, I put the design on blue lines with a yellow border top. Printed multiple out on a sheet, cut them into pages. Just a few here, this is just an example. In a real notepad, there would be 50 to 100 pages. However, this is just a mock-up that I'm presenting to give people a visual aid of what I think would make good merchandise. I also did this handout design, just the logo colors, shape of Miko, and it can be used as a letterhead. Tom brought this back from the last one. They went to a, they had a Dublin Megacon and I got that shirt from that. The funny thing about this one is this is definitely a concept Miko art piece I did. So when I saw it on a shirt, I was like, oh, wow, cool. 
awesome, dying internally. Obviously it's a nice shirt still and no one else would see issues with it. I'm just critical of myself. <laughs> now here are some ideas I did for Miko cosplaying. These would be for signs at the event. This is for a cosplay zone. This is the way to the panel, directional sign. A sign for if you need a pass for an entry to an area. Miko on Kiki's broom that could be here as a fast lane. <laughs> These images would not be sold as merchandise because they are franchise character based and this is an event where you have relationships with the actual franchises, but they can be used for areas of the event and for sponsorships for the companies that own said franchise. Just adds a bit of fun to the atmosphere. And that's some of the design work I have done. I package it all up, pin it together, and we send it off. I also played around with watercolor concepts. In the Mandalorian and Kiki Miko image, the smaller character is actually a ghost frog and there will be a backstory to the frog, or should I say frogs? And I'm working out how I'd like to illustrate the work for that. For this one, I decided to do a watercolor piece. I'm not that well versed with watercolor, so that will take a long time, but we'll see. It might be cute, it might be nice, it might be less comic book style, but more something else. I'm not sure. Either way, we are trying, we are experimenting. Art is a lot of experimentation and all these concepts are exactly that. I send it off with no guarantee any of these images will be used, but it's basically me being here is my work. If it goes good, great. If not, we start again. We go over, we do it again. <laughs> and that's the life of an artist. You turn in your work and you're like, okay, next. <laughs> cool. But I'm quite happy with how these ones turned out and I'm excited for the convention. I think it's going to be so much fun. I'm excited to see you guys. Please let me know if you are coming and we'll see how all of this goes down. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye, goodbye, bye.